What is up guys, it's SuperKen for SuperKen Gaming from the channel, please subscribe, leave a comment saying hi, thumbs up, if you like the video already, share this video with your friends, and these are my top 10 games released in 1990. Number 10, Dragon Strike. Dragon Strike is a 1990 game based on the Dungeons and Dragons fantasy tabletop role playing game. This is one of those hidden gem games that didn't get nearly enough attention it deserved. It combines elements of role playing games and fighting simulators, rewarding thinking and strategy, and was gorgeous for its time. Number 9. Columns. Columns is a match three puzzle game created by Jay Geertsen in 1989. Early versions of the game were ported across early computer platforms in Atari ST. In 1990, Jay sold the rights to Sega who ported the game to several Sega consoles. Columns proved to be one of the best puzzle games created up there with the likes of Tetris, and had a great influence on games even up until today, inspiring and giving birth to games like Candy Crush. Number 8. Star Tropics. Star Tropics is an action adventure game released by Nintendo 1990 for the NES. Unlike most of Nintendo's games, it was never released or intended to be released in Japan. It was released only in North America and Europe, although designed by a Japanese designer living in the United States. This game was highly influenced by the original Legend of Zelda, even being called its natural evolution, praised for its graphics, characters, and action sequences. Number 7, Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. Alex Kidd in Shinobi World is a side-scrolling action game produced by Sega that was originally released for the Master System in 1990. The game was praised for its size and difficulty progression, and Sega actually took a few jabs at Nintendo during production, putting an in-game boss named Mario. He attacks the players by shooting bouncing fireballs, and after taking enough damage, shrinks down in size. By the game's release, the name was changed to Kabuto, and he got a makeover that downplayed his likeness to Mario. However, his attack patterns remain the same. Number 6. Mega Man 3. Mega Man 3, known as Rockman 3, The End of Dr. Wily in Japan, is an action platform game developed and published by Capcom for the NES. It's the third game of the original Mega Man series and it was originally released in Japan on September 28, 1990. Mega Man 3 did the unthinkable by passing up Mega Man 2 in terms of game quality, having a better story, longer length, and not only including new robot masters, but all eight for Mega Man 2 as well. Though some critics felt like it was excessively difficult, it still got nines across the board and lives in many people's top NES and games in general of all time lists. Number 5, Solar Jetman Hunt for the Golden Warship. Solar Jetman is a multi-directional shooter game developed by Zippo Games and Rare and published by Trade West. It was released in North America on October 14, 1990 and in Europe on September 26, 1991 for the NES. This game didn't sell well but critics loved it. Praise for its challenging gameplay and unique aspects like planets having different gravity pools as you set out to gather all the Golden Warship pieces. And it was praised by pretty much everyone for its graphics being called brilliant and an artistic accomplishment. Number 4, Sid Meier's Railroad Tycoon. Sid Meier's Railroad Tycoon is a business simulation designed by Sid Meier and published for the PC in 1990. The objective of the game is to build and manage a railroad company by laying track, building stations, and buying and scheduling trains. If anyone has played a tycoon game, you know just how addicting they can be. It's no surprise this game won Game of the Year awards when it came out and went on to be crowned the best strategy program in 1991. Number 3, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse is a 1990 platform game developed by Sega and released for the Sega Genesis. Here the player takes control of Mickey Mouse as he goes inside the Castle of Illusion in order to rescue Minnie Mouse from an evil witch named Miserable who wants to steal Minnie's youth. During the game, Mickey visits various worlds in order to obtain seven rainbow gems that can build a rainbow bridge to the castle tower where Minnie is being held. Mario set the gaming world on fire and Castle of Illusion was one of the resulting releases. Even being called a Mario clone at the time, but not a bad one. This game was praised for its graphics and playability, but it wasn't the levels alone that made this game good. It was everything as a whole, the music, the controls, Mickey's animations. All this made Castle of Illusion one of the greatest, if not the greatest Disney game of all time. Number 2, The Secret of Monkey Island. The Secret of Monkey Island is a 1990 point and click graphic adventure game developed and published by Lucasfilm's games. It takes place in a version of the Caribbean during the Age of Piracy. In the game, he plays Guybrush Threepwood, a young man who dreams of becoming a pirate and explores fictional islands while solving puzzles. This game sold well and was loved by critics, praised for its attention to detail and humor. This was one of the first games to prove that adventure games could be fun and not just frustrating. And number one, Super Mario World. 
Super Mario World, subtitled Super Mario Bros. 4 for its original Japanese release, is a 1990 platforming game developed and published by Nintendo as a pack-in launch title for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or the SNES. The game shares similar gameplay mechanics with previous titles in the series, Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 2, and Super Mario Bros. 3, but introduces several new elements. In addition to the running and jumping moves found in the past games, the player can float with the aid of special items and execute new types of jumps such as the spin jump. In debut Yoshi as Mario and Luigi take a vacation to a place called Dinosaur Land after saving the Mushroom Kingdom in Super Mario Bros. 3. And of course a vacation isn't what they got. Super Mario World is ranked as the 17th highest rated video game of all time on game rankings, and Nintendo ranked it the 7th greatest Nintendo game of all time. Super Mario World went on to win Nintendo Power's Game of the Year award in 1991, and Yoshi went on to become one of the most important characters in the entire Mario franchise. Thank you guys so much for watching my top 10 games released in 1990. Next week, we're going to be doing something different because it's the end of the year. All next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm going to be releasing my top 25 games of 2016. But that list isn't an official time capsule list. They're my personal opinions where I view my time capsule list as something definitive. So tune in next week for that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And in 2017, we'll be returning back to normal with the top 10 games released in the year I was born, 1991. Thanks for watching.